everybody, a very sweaty good morning from here in summery Tokyo. Today I'm here with Norm, Tokyo hey Lens. With today we are in Ogikubo. Yes we are. Yeah, have you ever been to Ogikubo? Actually I used to, one of my very first part-time jobs I ever had when I first came to Japan was working at a gym in Ogikubo. Oh, okay. Other than that I've never really explored the area but I've heard that there are a lot of like, I've got a lot of people who message me like, oh, I'm staying in a hotel in Ogikubo and you should check out the area. There's a lot of little, so I want to see if we can find the lot of little yeah. hidden spots that there yeah. are today. I've never been to, well, I've probably been to Ogikubo and never known it. It's just never been something where people have said, hey, let's go to Ogikubo and hang out. It's really close to Shinjuku, right? It is, it is. It's very close to Shinjuku, but as you can tell, it's very much Doesn't feel not it. Shinjuku. <laughs> It's, it's a good place to be. Yeah, definitely. So hopefully we can find some good spots and let you guys know all about it and explore Ogikubo. Maybe one or two with air conditioning. Oh my god, please. <laughs> also, we'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, which is Experience Suginami Tokyo. Thank you for sponsoring us, you're great. Let's go and explore Ogikubo. Let's do it. Koi, yeah. they're so cool. I want to hug them, but it's forbidden. Look at that big guy. Jeez. Ooh, hello. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. There's so many little parks hidden throughout Tokyo. Just like, that. well, maybe not just like this. This one's actually really nice this with the pond really nice. and everything. And there's a lot of momiji everywhere. And I think the entrance was ginkgo trees. Yeah. So I think this place would be super nice in autumn. I really want to come back here. I was taking a peek at my phone online. They said all those trees are like a hundred years old. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> First meal of the day. It looks pretty nice good. And healthy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice and healthy. A big old bowl of ramen. Ogiku is actually really well known for ramen. Like, like Shinjuku is the typical drinking place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in Japan, this is very, you probably already know this, but Japanese people tend to go for ramen after they drink. It's kind of the, the closing out of the night, and this is the the ramen zone right beside the drinking zone. Yeah, so Shinjuku you can go drinking, but I know there's a, quite a few ramen joints in Shinjuku, but a lot of them are kind of directed towards tourists because it's a very touristy area. So if you want a really authentic ramen experience, just head on a little bit out to Ogikubo. And there's lots of different kinds of ramen shops around here. Yeah. Dakimasu. Oh. How is it? It's very rich. I'm going straight for the meat. Oh, yeah, 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 go for it. Mmm. Are you good? Oh. The place we're at right now is called Kubota because uh, the owner is Kubota san. If you're going to own a shop, it might as well call it your own name. I think I would do that. I think I would. Have a store called Emma. You sell Emma Day. Like a little good luck. Or oh, the ones in the like shrines? Lucky, yeah, like those oh, stickers and stuff. I, oh, okay. There you go. That's my new business. All right, well, we're just going to chill and eat some ramen. And then I think we're heading to a garden after this. So. Mm. Got to stock up some energy to go out in the hot weather again. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna give you like a chime sound. Would be my. You guys hear that? Nice, it's meditative. Yeah, definitely. It takes you out of the moment of all the heat and everything yeah. going on around you. It just kind of takes you, it's, it's, it's like a peaceful water summer chime. Yeah. So I got us a bit of a guide. Oh. I, I did a terrible job at handing that to you, by I, the way. I got it. It's all good. <laughs> so this is Kadokawa Garden. Yep. 
That's very beautiful, very nice. And behind us is Gengi Sambo Hall. Mm. So this used to belong to a famous poet. Yeah, yeah, and they actually do like poetry or haiku, like classes and stuff here now. Mm. I personally am partial just to the garden. Yeah, the it's garden like is nice super nice. It's like a nice space in the middle of Tokyo where you can enjoy the green and the sound of the cicadas in the summer. And yeah. It's only like, what, about 15 minutes from the station? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really quick to get here. Yeah, it's a feels like 46 degrees day. So yeah. It's it's pretty hot outside, but yeah. So because this place is uh, you can you can learn how to do haikus and do poetry here. So uh, we're gonna do you, a haiku challenge. Yeah, have you got a haiku? Love the sound of bugs. I am so very sweaty. I would like ice cream. Um, I'll just be me and be like, I'm getting thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we should grab some. Nope, that doesn't work. So oh. yeah, I've already... I think we should grab coffee. Perfect. Why not head there now? Okay, yep, sounds good. Let's go get some <laughs> Let's coffee. Get some coffee. <laughs> So we made it to Nishi Ogikubo and this place that we're at right now was just a five minute walk from the station. It's called Monotsuki and it's a kisatan. Yes. A coffee shop. And I really nice. like how it looks in here. Yeah, they've got so many antique clocks on the wall and lots of wood and it's it's a good feeling, it's a good vibe. Yeah. And it's very quiet too. It is. It's it very is. nice. So well, this area, Nishi Ogikubo, is actually known for antiques and uh, coffee shops. It's like a really... It's got a classic... Classic! Classic vibe classic. to it. I thought I was going to go for a cold drink and the cinnamon tea looked really cool. So I ordered cinnamon tea, but it only comes in hot, so I was like, let's do it. And it turns out it's a milk tea too, so I'm going to have indigestion. But uh, <laughs> you were saying that chewing on a cinnamon stick will help indigestion. Maybe! I won't hold you to it. I'm going to just try it. I'm no doctor, but but I, I've heard that like chewing on... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to look this up now because if okay, this is okay. gonna go on the internet for absolutely forever yeah you know people are gonna well. get angry at you if you're not 100% correct about right? everything benefits of chewing on cinnamon loaded with antioxidants anti-inflammatory properties there we go okay. oh it's hot oh it's hot what a vibe <laughs> And with this many clocks, I'm amazed it's not like all of them going off at once. Yeah, words. I feel like it would be insane. Are they all different times? Yeah, they're all at different times. That one says it's 15 past 7. Oh, oh, oh here we here go. Oh, here we go. It started. It's like something out of a bad movie. The coffee itself is really mild. Like, I don't really like sour coffee. Like, I, I prefer something that's a little more bitter or it has like a soft taste to it. It's Do you often come out to like Kisaten? I actually don't. <coughs> I would need to go to Kisaten more. They're so nice and it's such a nice place even if you want to like do some work during the day I want to start doing that. One of the first videos that we did together we went to a Kisaten. Yeah yeah right? yeah. And that was back when I was living in Asakusa. It's the atmosphere right? Like mm. look how quiet it is in here. It's yeah. get some uh, antiques. I don't know if we'll buy any. I'm excited though. I, I, if they have something cool, I've, I might buy it. I've never actually been to an antique shop in Japan. Oh really? But I love antiques, like recycle shops, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, you can find some really good stuff. And an antique shop in Japan is a really good way to kind of like check out the history in like a very different way, right? Yeah, definitely. That That is providing that they haven't just stocked the place with Western antiques. That's what I am thinking. Like, is it going to be Japanese antiques or Western antiques? Because I don't know, this kind of area as well, Koenji has a lot of um, second-hand stores and a lot of them have like American or Western clothing, so mm. I'm wondering what the antique stores are like. I like this yellow. <laughs> Ketchup and mustard. I think there's so much cool stuff here that I need to like have time to unpack everything. Yeah. This is awesome. There's so many beautiful lamps here as well. Oh, wow. Some playing cards here. I just, in general, love playing cards. Ooh, card tricks. Right, I don't really know any card tricks. I can do neat stuff like that. Yeah. 
<laughs> the sensational orange drink with the real orange flavor in the big, big bottle. The bottle looks huge. Yeah. Original Fanta. That's awesome. I actually have like a small collection of gacha machines or these gumball style machines. In my house, I have a full size metal like North American one that's about like that wide by this, by this, and it's just filled. So back in Canada, I have at least three like this, and it's actually slightly tempted to actually pick this one up. Get it, get it's it. It's no pressure at all. Get it. It's really close. Oh man, let's have a little sit down. Cute little seat. Yeah, it's oh. an antique. Oh. <laughs> <Big surprise>. <laughs> <laughs> that place was awesome. Was. There's so many things that I want in there, but ignore the truck. By the way, we're next to a road. There's so much stuff in there that I wanted. I really want those ketchup and mustard chairs. The gumball machine didn't fit in my backpack. Oh. Well, at least we know where the store is. So yeah. maybe if I get like a nice big healthy paycheck, I can come back and get ketchup and mustard. This is actually like a really nice little antique store. It's just been a good day. Yeah, in yeah. It's been so nice traveling around and just like seeing gardens, drinking lots of Picari sweat, eating ramen. This is like what the third video you've done in this general area? Yeah, so I've been having a good time. Sorry you only got to come on for today, but okay. I've been enjoying Suginamiku for three other videos, two other videos, including this one. Where did you go? Um so I've been to Asaga and Koenji and now Okikubo. Okay. So yeah, if you guys want to check out those videos, uh, the Lee and the Carl link. No, in the I've never been to Asagaya. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. You should watch the video. Uh, it's not out yet, <laughs> so you can't, but he will. <laughs> but yeah, but I've had a great time today. Okikubo is really nice. Mm. And there's some nice houses here. Maybe I'll live here one day. <laughs> you need like 20 million dollars to live here or something. I don't know. If you guys are staying in Shinjuku or near this area, Ogikubo is a really nice place to come mm. and hang out. And there's such like unique things that I don't, I haven't seen this kind of stuff, especially the antiques uh, anywhere else in Tokyo personally. So. And if you don't know about Ogikubo itself, it's just a hop, skip and a jump from Shinjuku on the Marunouchi line. So it connects really easily with a lot yeah. of other train lines. And Chuo line, right? Yeah. Thanks for coming on a little adventure with me today. It, it was fun. I'm always up for little adventures mm. anytime. And thanks for coming on the adventure through all of Suginami with me. I had an awesome time. It's a really nice area and I will be coming back especially to shop. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in a video soon. Bye! It's just nice to be back inside. <laughs> Don't zoom in on me going hang hang. You know those what? cool people in movies who had toothpick? This is the next level. <laughs> Gross. We got some uh, pretty wicked looking melons over there. Wait, really? Like actual oh, watermelons. Nice. They Fantastic.